Queen Victoria is looking absolutely fantastic for what is a really important year for Cunard, our 175th celebration. And Queen Victoria is just about to go out on her world cruise. Queen Victoria's latest refit ensures that she maintains her status as an iconic ship. Even during a refit when she's, uh, when she's in dry dock, uh, the White Star service philosophy continues. And, and although there are 2,000 workmen on board working during the refit, all experience the White Star service throughout. And it's our job to treat them like, uh, like our normal guests, providing them with good food, clean cabins, effective services, linen changing, taking care of their laundry, because if we look after the contractors, they will look after us. Uh, my guys, they love the refit. They work very hard. They're always eager to provide White Star service. Whatever we provide for guests, all contractors it's going to be the same. We want them to say that the, the Queen Victoria had the best foot during refits. So an army march is on its stomach. We had over 2,000 people on board during the refit. They were drinking generally 1,200 litres of soup with croutons each day, the tea breaks. They were associated also with 2,000 cookies every day. Tea and coffee ranged over 80,000 cups during the refit period. We've had over 2,000 people working day shift and night shift on board the vessel, using approximately 600,000 man hours. One of the key areas that the hotel air has been changed has been carpet. We've changed over 20,000 square metres of carpet, which would cover effectively one side of the shard in London. Ensuring you get a good night's sleep, every mattress on the vessel will be changed out in this dry dock period. The Leader Restaurant will be receiving the same benefits as previously put on the Queen Elizabeth. We will be uh, installing tea and coffee pantries, thus ensuring you have tea and coffee served for breakfast and lunch at your table rather than standing in line. We are the largest contractor on this refit. We would have over 200 men on the ship. Cunard have um, always looked after us well on board. The men are well fed, well looked after in their cabins. Their laundry is always done on time, on schedule. We have worked on numerous jobs with Cunard and it has always been the same. Yeah, Cunard is definitely a better class of ship. They do look after you better and treat you really well. The cabin and the accommodation, the housekeeping is first class. Uh, fresh sheets, fresh towels, uh, things are a big different. Ships are really great, very quite luxurious and yeah, after this I might be tempted to take a cruise myself. And Queen Victoria has had a lot of work done throughout the ship in a lot of the guest facing areas. We've added nine new single cabins to bring her up to the same standard as the refurbishment we did on her sister ship, Queen Elizabeth, back in 2014. One of the other additions to Queen Victoria is on our open deck area where we've added more awning space. Um, mirroring what we've done on Queen Elizabeth and this is really important for this ship as she embarks on her first fly Mediterranean cruise season during 2015. The ship's looking marvellous after our refit. Uh, everything's spick and span. Many uh, features have been updated and improved on this our year of our 175th anniversary and so no doubt it's going to be a marvellous uh, year 2015 with many and varied celebrations of our 175th uh, anniversary of Cuba here uh, kicking off our Cunard celebrations of the 175th uh, year. It's going to be a fantastic year for Cunard uh, with lots of different events uh, around the world, uh, all the way from uh, a celebration in Sydney, Yokohama, uh, back here in Southampton when we'll have all three uh, queens here, uh, and then uh, perhaps uh, most significantly uh, returning to Cunard's spiritual home uh, in Liverpool where for the first time uh, we will have uh, all three ships together. So it's going to be a, a memorable year. Uh, here we are celebrating 175 years uh, from 1840 to the present day to 2015. Uh, it's what Cunard's all about, uh, the timeless classic, uh, if you will, forever Cunard. <laughs>